we start? No. Um, today we're doing a mock test with... Laureen. Laureen, tell me about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Hong Kong. And what are you doing in Durham? Uh, studying law. Studying law. Very smart. And tell them how many hours you've had with me. About 36. 36? Yeah. Mm. And have you had any private practice? No, not no. at all. This is our first mock test. She's passed the theory and uh, we're going to see how she goes. Have you any questions? No. Right. Um, would you like me to tell you a bit about the test? Yeah, sure. 38 to 40 minutes, depending on traffic, taken in various traffic and road conditions. One maneuver with your trainer, possibly the control stop. And you will be driving independent by way of sat and other signs. You want sat don't you? Yeah. Um, right, throughout the drive, what route should I give you? Mm. What type of route do you want? Well, anything. Anything? Yeah. Um, throughout the drive, I'd like you to follow the road ahead at all times unless you're directed by signs and markings. Oh, shoot. Or less speed of time, which I will do some good time. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. One question. How would you check your um, tyres have sufficient tread depth and how would you know the safety use on the roads? This is a hard question, this one. Okay, make sure the tyre does not have any c cuts or bulges and then the tread depth would be 1.6 millimetres and with all around the circumference and within the tyre. Did you mention no cuts and bulges? Good, well done. Right, if you just um, I'm going to do your manoeuvre straight away, so if you just turn right out here and reverse it a little bit. You will arrive at your destination at 11.42 a.m. Number two.
Minor folk number one, Laureen. Um, if this had gone on any longer, then you would have recorded a serious fault. Or had you done it in a busy car park and you've got people waiting, then you, you could have been looking at a serious fault also for holding the traffic up. Um, but we need practice at this manoeuvre. And when you went over the side of the road the first time, you didn't go far enough over. Now, that's not a problem. You should have looked and seen there was a big gap and just full locked the wheel and then you would have got it in. Um, but yeah, very close to being a serious fault this, but it's a minor fault for control. <laughs> okay. Just relax and chill. Fault number two, Laureen, you get a bit close to this silver car on the left-hand side. I would have reduced the speed a little bit more here and not as cut in as early as what you did. Left, then take the second right. Fault number three, Laureen, your signal for right goes on far too early. I'm all for giving an early signal when turn right, but we're not going that fast, and the junction must be at least 300 yards, 250, 250 yards away. So I'm not sure you, I don't think you know where the right turn is, but it's far too early with the indicator. After 200 yards, turn right, Sawmill Lane.
appears on the left. After 200 yards, turn left, A690, North View. Thank you. No, you haven't failed it, I just saved my wheels, okay? Drive them when you're ready. Minor fault number four, Lorraine. The examiner would have just let you scrape the, the wheels off the side of the curb and you would have just recorded a minor fault. Um, you pick a good place to stop, so well done, but just as you stop and just look over the bonnet and keep your eyes on that curb until the car is stopped. really close to the next park car mm -hmm. but maybe not for him to move on. Further forward, out the car left. Minor fault number five goes down to control. Um, you get really close to this car again, Lauren, when you're pulling out. Um, pull out a bit quick for me. I would have been holding that clutch still. Um, and your eyes are in the wrong place there. Serious fault number one, uh, Lorraine. Oh. Lorraine, you get far too close to this blue car, this parked car on your left. You're not, you're, you must be looking up the road. You're not looking at the space between this blue car and the Audi. Um, you're only giving it about five or six inches and you're doing about 24, 25 miles per hour, somewhere around about there. Um... It's just your eyes looking in the wrong place. And further up the road, you get too close to park cars also. So you need to assess gaps. When you see a park car like this on the left, you need to look at the left, the right-hand side of that vehicle. Then look to see if there's any cars coming, oncoming traffic coming towards you. Then look at the space between that car that's parked and the car that's coming towards you. Assess the gap. Now, if it looks tight, then you've got to take your foot off the gas and reduce your speed. All of these parked cars on the left-hand side, Lorraine, you, you're too close and you need to check your mirrors and move over a little bit and look at the space, look at the knee distance, middle and far, but you're getting far too close. Fault number six, uh, Laureen. As soon as you go downhill, this car picks up speed very quickly. So, as soon as you should get the 28, 29, you know, you get that middle mirror foot on brake, but you let it go up to 33 miles per hour along here. You do realize and get back down to 30.
just gonna throw it so I'll redirect him. At the roundabout, turn right, come all the way back round and we'll trace our steps. Yeah. Turn right. Fault number two for you, Laureen. Oh. Laureen, eyeballs again. You're not looking where you're going. You should have been, as soon as you come off the roundabout, you should have been looking at the near distance instead of looking down the road. Eyes in the wrong places at the wrong time. Very difficult to put right, Laureen. Um, yeah, you drove in the bus lane and then viciously swerved out of the bus lane. Uh, I was flattened here a little bit because I wasn't 100% sure what was behind at the time. I didn't expect this one. So you caught me out here. What's it? Minor fault number seven, uh, Lorraine, you, you go downhill again. You've got to check your speed going downhill. This is a third road and you reach 34 this time. You've got to keep your eyes on that speed limit and be careful when the car's going downhill. It picks up speed very quickly. Minor fault number eight, Lorraine. Hey, you, you've got come to this round, but the mark and see you can use either lane. You should have been using left lane. It says you can use the right. You're making hard work for yourself um, using the right lane. All the other local traffic use the left. And look, when you come off the roundabout, you have to leave in the left. You check your mirrors. There was a car there, um, but it was safe to move over. So when you have the choice of lanes, Lorraine, at a roundabout or traffic lights, you normally choose the left lane. Minor fault number nine, Lorraine. Uh, you don't carry out the mirror signal manoeuvre routine on approach to this traffic light control roundabout. Um, I think the reason you've done this was because you're too busy looking at all the road markings, seeing which lane you needed. But 
as soon as the sat nav gives you instruction or they're driving the examiner, I'd expect you use, use the appropriate mirrors and then look for the timing of the signal. Under the bridge is a right turn, that's where I wanted to turn. Minor fault number 10, Lorraine, you pull off in second gear, it should have been first, you'll burn the clutch out or stall one of the two. Um, in position, you should have been a little bit more to the right, a little bit more to the hatch inside these hatch markings. Um, we are holding the traffic up behind, but there was enough room to go through because there was one car already went through, so we're not going to mark this, but get it a bit more into the centre so it helps the traffic on the left get past you. Fault number 11, Laureen. Laureen, when you're pulling at the side of the road, just as you stop me, you look over that bonnet at that kerb and you normally get it down the middle of the window screen. Um, the examiner would have just let you hit the kerb. He would have only given you a minor fault because um, you weren't going to mount it, but I'm just trying to, to protect my wheels. Really, that will do. Finish it here, okay? Okay. Right, how do you think you've done? Damn, I think I've failed. What for? I almost went into the bus lane and then I just well. You did, and that's why I've given give you one series called. Um, how many series? You've only got two balls, it could have been more. Um, you need to be a lot smoother and the uh, um, there's gonna be more sympathetic to the car, yeah? Yeah, what happened with the bus then is you come off the roundabout. Mm -hmm. What did you do? I went over there. Right now what you done is you swung over there and realised now you yeah. swung right back to the right when I didn't have a clue what was here. It could have been anybody coming on there. So that's just your eyes and the other one is um you know when you're passing car cars, how much room have you got to give them? How much room when you pass the park car? A metre. Right. Now if you can't give a metre, what should you do with your speed? Go slower. Right. When we turned left again the road, you went like that long. We got close, so I'll just give you a minor fall for that one. Then, coming back up this road, there was a blue car on the left hand side. You're doing 24 miles per hour, and you were like that one. Then there were some more cars, and you've done the same again. Got really close. So it was just the two serious faults, but overall, it needs to be smooth and it needs a middle, middle, middle more, a bit more. Mm. And then you know, it wasn't too bad, I suppose, is it? How did that feel to you? Is it nerve wracking? Uh, a bit. Is it? What was nerve wracking about it? After knowing you've done something wrong and you have to keep going. What about the park, the beer park? Yeah, well, it really is nerve wracking. 
and I'd go on if you go anywhere.